Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Rome Total War campaign as Parthia. Uh, and we seem to be doing quite well so far. Uh, we've taken a lot of land, but the big threat now is Egypt. And we did have seed on, Egypt have taken it. We did kind of take it as a buffer um, and come back here to take Tarsus. Um, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to be hopefully taking out Pontus this turn, and we're going to be... Maybe not this turn, this uh, this episode. And we're going to be trying to take out Seleucia. And then basically that leaves just one enemy to deal with currently, which is Egypt, apart from Scythia. Scythia is more of a slow, uh, slow burner though up there. It's going to take a while to get rid of them. So we don't need to be worried too much about uh, taking Scythia out really quickly. Uh, but now it looks like we have ready to go. Let's have a look. Campus Samate. Um, yeah, still fine. Still good. Now, still can't remember exactly where this is. So, probably going to be doing that. That looks like a Scythian army. And uh, if we had a general, we'd be able to build a watchtower, but uh, we lost the general. Also, we've recovered from that horrendous battle two episodes ago where we nearly lost all our troops uh, because of war dogs who were just brutally effective. Like, it was absolutely crazy. Um, so here in Ankira, these guys are ready to move. Not sure that's a good idea. What? Well, who would we leave behind? That's the one problem. Yeah, we need to get that peasant. We'll, we'll keep that. We'll keep that there. We're going to be fighting this Egyptian army very soon. These guys are all ready to move. How are we doing in terms of recruitment here? Still not recruiting more troops. I think that's because we're, we're not gaining a huge amount of money anymore. Uh, actually, that's not true. It looks like we are gaining loads. Um, but yeah, cool. Just first things first. I think we've got some building to do. Yeah. So, Karma, Campus Samate. What do we want here? Probably the market. Uh, Campus Alani. Probably the same thing. We're not going to be able to build everywhere. Katias. None of those are that useful right now. Sinope, we want something cheap, yep, and Tarsus, Tarsus, probably a good idea to be building there, but right now, it should be okay for a turn, cool, so let's, uh, let's take Palmyra, let's see uh, what resistance they put up, oh dear, it's a terrible, terrible army, uh, it might be quite thin, I think it's only a large town, not a minor city, so... You know, it won't be a huge amount of ability to move everywhere, and it's a Greek-style town, isn't it? So, um, it'll probably be okay, but we'll just uh, we'll just have to see see how it goes. Uh, we'll do the standard tactic <laughs> of just firing on the enemy. That's uh, that's how we do that's how we do it with the uh, with the horse archers. They're just so good. They're just so good, so cost-effective. We haven't got that much experience in them yet. We've only got like one or two units that are silver experienced of actual horse archers. But as soon as they become gold experienced, they will just absolutely shred anyone. Um, the only people they might not shred are like heavily, heavily armoured troops. Like uh, say the urban cohorts, or Praetorian cohorts with a couple of armour upgrades. That, that would be hard. So, you know, it is quite important to get to fighting Rome early on. Um, we need to be in a, in a stable situation though. Um, we need to be... I've destroyed Egypt. That's a big, big part of that. So once Egypt's destroyed, I think, well, the next enemy will definitely be Rome after that. And then I don't think many people will be able to stand stand in our way. Cool. Great speech. <laughs> uh, this way actually is probably the best got this area that we can fire on the enemy from we've also got this area so yeah pretty happy with where we are right now oh we've also got two uh two rams get you guys oh no nope. get you guys at the end 
I'm pretty sure these guys are going to get shot by the towers. Uh, so we might need to split them into two. God, this music is so nostalgic. It's so good. Um, oh, looks like they've got the whole army out here. Like, not the whole army, but a lot of their army. It's worth getting a bit closer, probably. Not too bad about taking a bit of casualties, if, if, if we have to, because we should be shredding them. They're just not going to know what to do, really. Classic AI. I prefer you to target the general, but for now, it's actually okay that you don't. We'll just get rid of all these troops. The battling ram, not the battering ram, the battling ram, apparently. The gate looks bloody. <laughs> Is it supposed to be rust? Yeah, that's actually, that's actually quite good textures. Fair. Not too bad. We should just be shredding these guys completely now. How are we doing? We've not shot any of our own troops quite yet. Begin the slaughter. Um, it's already begun. They've lost 45% of their troops. Which is quite ludicrous. Get these guys in here. This is the problem. Potentially they might charge us with their general. I would prefer not that not to happen. Um, and if they do, I would like my general in here for that. Get these uh, these two slinger units here, if they can. You guys, what do we want to do with you? Um. Okay, they're gonna. They should be firing on all these. This one here. They're still eager though. I prefer. Okay, they're running away. That's good for us. Still steady, shaken now. I think the overwhelming numbers will be the thing that is going to make break them. Yeah, they've got our general here now firing at them as well. So, let's get rid of them. Oh, no, General's bodyguard's coming. General's bodyguard's coming. I would like... Okay, they're going to charge into the pelter, the, the slingers first. Which is actually quite good for us. Um, who are you and what are you doing? <laughs> All of you, get rid of skirmish mode. Because that's what happens. Get out of there. Please get rid of him. Please go, go, go. If he dies, they all die. Okay, militia hoplites. Uh, we're not going to catch up with them, are we? You guys come down here. Should be able to fire at everyone. Oh, that's the whole wrong side. That was the wrong side. Maybe I should have had the left side on the actual left side. Oh, you running away. Okay, fine. Um, I want all of these guys up here. They can fire on those uh, two units of militia hoplites. Hopefully, draw them out. You there? These two guys. Yep, yeah, let's go. Should be absolutely firing on these guys. They probably will break. 
<laughs> Taking a bit of friendly fire right now. They should break because of overwhelming numbers. Yep. I would like if we can fit you guys in here just for your last couple of volleys. Okay, at least the uh, Peltas broke the uh, enemy general's charge because that would have been awkward <laughs> if he'd just taken out our general there. I'm hoping we can get these guys to break once they've left the confines of the little area. If we can get them all to break, that would be great. Get the slingers here. We'll just try and use the slingers to finish this one off. Yep, they're broken. If they break now, oh, just about got, they just about got back. They're all just constantly breaking here because of the damage. Bring you forward, because if someone gets close enough, I would like to be able to chase them down, really. The Slingers might even get some experience. Oh, uh, these guys are all... This is a brand new army, isn't it? They don't have any experience. Well, at least they managed to get all their shots off, but none of them really got any experience. Even this one that took... Um, that fought in melee. Maybe we can try and get some experience. I'd like you to come here if you can. The one big problem with these horse archers is they, because they don't have a. Ah, uh, uh, let's not do that. Just get away. Get away, get away, get away. We might be able to make them break if we can draw them out. Okay, no, nope, both Astling is a breaking. Let's see what they want to do. I want them to come off the square, that's the main thing. Yeah, give him a rally. Yep, yeah. if we can get them off the main square. Nope, how did you break there? That's embarrassing. <laughs> they also, yeah, they don't have good morale. Um, so, like, Persian cavalry are okay. Let's just bring one of these guys forward. It's a lot easier to manage. Get the general here. Yeah, they have bad morale and they're too they're spread out too much. Like spread out a lot. They might break here. And then that would be the end of the battle. I said, can you come back here, please? Rather than, uh, you're going to run or you're just going to walk? Great retreating. Oh, now you've broken. <laughs> Great. Right, there we are. Good God. That was more casualties than we should have taken, really. But what can you do? What can you do when the pathing's that bad in cities? Do you know what would make the pathing so much better? Is if they just like increase the scale of everything in the cities like, by 25%. Like the roads. Just made them all a lot wider. It would be so helpful. I'm not sure what we want to do here. I'm pretty sure it's a minor city looking at that. So let's exterminate. Nope, it was just a large town. Oh well, well we won't have any problems with uh, public order for a while then. You know, by the end of the game, these these areas will be very built up, so it's not a huge issue uh, exterminating these populations, these early early populations. Yep, you'll go in there. Everywhere else. Okay, we've got money now, so we might be able to build everywhere. Um, Katias, yeah, no, that was the, the one place where probably not best to build. Uh, you know what, we'll get a port in Tarsus. 
even though we need public order. Oh, go on, we'll just get the blacksmith. It, it doesn't matter a huge amount. Um, we were building an army up here, like a mini army. Yeah. Yeah, we'll send those guys down and we'll be able to fill out a couple of armies with them. Um, yeah, cool. That looks about right. Um, in terms of what we want to do. Do they have siege equipment yet? Doesn't look like it. So let's not bother sallying out with one troop. Oh, hello. A field battle. Yes. Eventually. Oh, yes. Okay, they've got chariots. They've got desert cavalry. But that's it. <laughs> hmm. These are the most experienced guys we have, maybe, apart from the Ankira guys. So, this should be quite good. I think, honestly, once my gaming thing stopped working. Alright, start. My recording, my recording just always stops. It's so annoying. Alright, let's get you there. Let's get you back here. So you want to take out the cavalry. Like, everything else is no threat at all because of how slow it is. But I'm pretty sure these guys are fast moving. They should be, they should be... Oh, that's the edge of the map. That's one thing that we want to be careful of. It doesn't look huge, this map. Okay, should be getting some good shots off there. It's right at the edge of the map. If they want to fight melee, I can send my Eastern General in, which will definitely be a lot stronger than that. Now what's... Oh, we've lost sight of the rest of the army because of the uh, line of sight. Right, let's, uh, let's come around here. Should be able to take out most of these guys now. Shaken, yep. These desert cavalry eager. Very nice. Get the general back here. It is a very small map, actually. I want to get over this way. Don't want to get trapped in by these guys. Um... Also, the Egyptian Chariot General is... I think they'll have five hit points each. They can also fire back at us, which is not great. But, what can you do? Should be shredding these guys, really. Once these are gone, that is all the threat gone. Because the Chariots shouldn't be able to catch up with us, either. Um... Let's try and make our way around this way. If we can. Right. You're going to charge into them. Get rid of them. Got safety in numbers here. They're obviously not going to be able to catch us up. So we can just kind of chill a bit right, right now. Once that devil de uh, desert cavalry has gone. There's, there's nothing. There's just the chariots. Um, which really we want to be firing at the chariots. But. Let's get over this way a bit. Or maybe this way. Yeah, they're going to try and run, but they always go into phalanx before they start. So they're always in phalanx. That doesn't like... <laughs> they just stop going fast, which is great for us. Let's go there. Get away from them a bit. Do not want to be charged by them. Why would you walk? Go! God, I, I hate it when they don't, <laughs> they don't listen to you. Okay, we're losing men from the Egyptian chariots here. Let's get out of the way. Should be faster than them, so we shouldn't have too much issues getting away from them. We're going to just have to get the general in the line. If we can. How many have we killed? 
Only 15. Not got a huge amount of ammo left either. So that's not great. Uh, a lot of them do have a lot of ammo, really. Should be enough. It should be enough to destroy this army. Should be enough, hopefully. Right, you come back across here. It's just that chariot. If that chariot gets into these horses, it's likely game over, really. I think they'll all break. They can charge all they want, but it's not going to make a difference. They will still all die. They're not dying very well, though. Like, they're not getting absolutely shredded like I thought they would be. It is just trash, though, that army. You get in there. Like, we've nearly run out of ammo. We've not even destroyed half the army. It's just the spam. Yeah, okay, run away. That's good. It's just the spam. The spam is so annoying. Even though, I, I mean, I guess I'm doing horse archer spam, so... What can you say? What can you do? Need to be coming along this way, actually, a bit. Yeah, we're nearly... We're running out quite quickly. How are you not... I need people to run away. That would be a lot better. They all started running. I'll include the general in this now. It's just easier to move than moving him individually. I guess the Naus Beermen are a bit better than the Nubians, but not by much. So I'm kind of surprised by how little damage they've taken. Like, how much have they lost now? Like, only 30% and we've nearly run out of ammo. It's actually... That is not good. I guess we're just firing at them in the front. Like, if we weren't doing that, if we'd min-maxed it, I don't know. It still doesn't look good. Okay. This is going to be our melee contingent now, because they can no longer fire. All of you guys can remain firing. Need to take out the general. That's the big thing. So let's get around the other side and see whether we can sandwich them. God, there's, there's units in there that are tiny that, are, that have come back. Go on, hurry up. You're so slow. You're supposed to be fast moving. No, let's come around this way. Let's go. Whatever happens, we kind of need to charge that general. Otherwise, we will lose this. Like it's likely we will lose by charging the general as well, but get there. Right, while we have the chance and they're exposed, let's go. This is our only chance. This is our big chance. Get rid of their five hit points. This is really, this is big. This is huge. Can't do much else right now. There we are. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right, I don't care. We don't need to worry about the rest of them now. Let's get away from here. Any of them have ammo left? Potentially like it. Right, get in there. Right, that was huge. It's what we needed. Now we need to surround individual units and get rid of them. Um, also, this six that's got the actual good experience, get away. Where can you go? You go there. 
Oh, wait, these are all breaking just from... Just from overwhelming numbers. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. They come back. That has destroyed us. Did not see that coming. Can you attack them, please? Right, follow them. I don't care what else happens. Go. You need to run them down. You can't let that happen again. Might be able to just get break these guys by overwhelming numbers. I, I mean, I hope so. Be nice. Okay, make sure you chase them off the battlefield. Now, you two charge into the back of them. All right, this is uh, harder than I thought. Oh my god, why are you... Okay. Whatever. Let's come here. Get in there, get in there. They've not got their phalanx. Yep, there we are. Good, good, good. You get in there while they don't have phalanx as well. The only thing they think they can do is charge into us, which is actually great for us. It's working well. You get rid of these guys. They should break, surely. Come on. Break these guys. Right, break these guys. They're wavering already because of their mates. Shaken. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Should be getting some experience from this. Steady. Right. Get out of there then. Get out of there. Nope. They're all running. Awful. That's the problem. The morale is awful, awful, awful. You charge into the back of these guys. You guys go there, you guys go there, and they won't know which way to go. That's the big thing. Okay, broken them. Awesome. That's what we needed. Okay, you're broken. Let's come up here. You guys here. Okay, you three here. You three. For, we've got so many little battles going on right now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which way to turn. Right, let's come over this way. Do you know what? I don't want my general in there anymore. Let's have a look how bloody he is. If we, if that's a visual indication in this game, it's not. It's not. Is it medieval where it's how bloody they are? I hope we get some experience from this. We should still be able to liberate Tarsus, hopefully. Uh, is it no Antioch? Sorry, that's still the goal. Right, get out of there. How do they still? How are their troops still steady after all the battering they've got? Right, you two this way, you two this way. Let's uh, confuse them as usual. That's the one other one that we need to worry about. Which way are you going to turn, bro? Let's hope we don't... Let's hope we don't... Ah, oh, they broke before... Oh, embarrassing. Okay, if they turn the other way, well, that should break them. Awesome. Yeah, that's good for us. Okay. Continue. Let's get rid of them. How many did they have left? 4%. Okay. They should be fully destroyed. I mean, I'm hoping so. Still have reasonably... I don't know. Depends how much we get back from a casualty... How many casualties we get back. But that was quite a tight battle, really. Was it wasn't nice. 
that's the problem. We we ran out of ammo, so we really need to get that experience up because they weren't even heavily armored troops at all. Um, so I don't know. That was tight. That was tough. It's just managing the morale, I guess, on this uh, on this uh, uh, difficulty. See what happens with that other huge army, because that oh god, they've gone to support the Antioch army. Not great. Oh look, the Seleucids have another big army as well. Oh well, um, Pontus shouldn't be too bad because, okay, that's actually great for us. <laughs> that that I'm pretty sure that'll be their last settlement. Okay, that army, I don't know. It's going to be tight. I think we need to get around there and then we need to... Prefer to be here. No, here, so that the the enemies coming in directly behind them, so that we know exactly where they're coming in. And I'll also get some mercenaries, like all the mercenaries we can, really. Well, not all of them. We'll get Arab cavalry because that they're fine. Better in warriors. Better in archers. Mercenary Peltus on um, one of those. Uh, yeah, we'll have a full army then. Excellent. Uh, Antioch, yeah, still besieged. Candidate for adoption. Yeah, where did you go? Mazaka. Okay, cool. And we also had Thuxtra coming of age. He was in Antioch. Oh, cool. So that should be helpful. Um He's not good. Filthy-minded and financially irregular, so he needs to be a general. How about you? Wall breaker and confident commander, you need to be a general as well. Uh, Artaxartes. Yeah, you're going to take over there. I think both of you two will take over there. So you two get on your way. Get you back into Mazaka. Do you want those three with that? Yes, we do. If we can. Brilliant. Do we want to just take them out a little bit? With the horse archers? It's, nah, it's too... Yeah, no. It's too... Uh, it's just one horse archer. Yep, they're still happy in uh, Palmyra. Right, let's come forward. Okay, they've got chariots in Damascus. We might just starve them out. We'll see what what they what they really have. Get the uh, get. I, oh my God, three chariots! I don't want to be dealing with that. <laughs> Alongside two generals, how many turns? Seven though. That's too many. Oh well, we'll, we'll see. They, they might attack us. They might think they're really strong. Um, enemy army routes, yep. A new son adopted, yep. Cool. Lots of peasants. Uh, end of turn report. Right, let's see what construction we can do. Artaxata, oh, graded. Awesome. Campus Sarmatate, let's go with that. Mazaka, let's go with that. Ankira, Rhodes. Paul Mirror. Uh, let's go with that. Yep, great. Uh, right, these guys. Let's go. Let's go and get rid of Pontus. They can do what they want elsewhere, but, you know, we'll get rid of him. Okay. You are coming over this way. Might as well join them, just so I remember. Prasper doesn't have any, does it? Nope. That is annoying, that rebel army just right there. Cool. This is a big army. This is a good one. Right. Let's see whether we can win this. Captain Teuton Kemwi. 
We need to take out that first army, or at least get in between them. Probably use the actual actual melee uh, cavalry as well to get in between them and get rid of them, especially those chariots. They don't have chariots in their first army. They do have peltas though. Because I don't really want to use all my ammo on them to start with. Because we need them to take out those chariots. Even though they're just arch, I think they're just archer chariots, but it's still reasonably hard to take uh, to take out. The general speech is not really a thing. Okay, this battlefield looks reasonably sized. Oh wait, you need to be with these guys. You are slow though, that's the one issue. Right, we'll get all the melee people here. And then these guys. What are they doing? Why are they facing that way? I don't think I've ever seen that. I'd like to take out that general straight away. You guys come forward. If we can engage them with the... Uh, with the melee infantry, that'll actually be quite good for us. Nope, not the Bedouin archers. We don't want to mess with them. Right, let's get in there. See whether we can get. I want to. I want to make a break between these two armies. Um. No, let's not do that. Let's get here. What have I grabbed hold of? You guys get in there and then we'll charge them in the back. God, these Bedouin warriors... Well, I must just not have it selected though. I was going to say, they can't be that slow, surely. They are facing the wrong way. While they do that, that's, that'll be great for us. Get the Arab cavalry in there to take the load. Get out, get out, get out. Get out while we can. Yep, yeah, our hill maneuver or whatever they are, eastern mercenaries have, have all uh, ran. <laughs> Should be able to get rid of these guys. If they, especially if they face the wrong way. They currently don't know what they're doing, which is great for us. So we just want to break them. Okay, the general's going to have to get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Otherwise you will die. He's routing. Not good for us. Um, okay, cool. I mean, it's not too bad. I would like the general to not be retreating. Get rid of that. Okay, general, get back here. I kind of don't want you in the battle too much anymore. Let's get, if we can, let's get over here. It's a nice little position. Didn't kill the general. Um, okay, the other general's the chariots, which is not great. Okay, yep, yeah, they've gone. Uh, I want to get rid of those chariots. Let's see whether our slow camels can do it. Let's get over here. We need every single horse archer available for this one now. Okay, units breaking. You can you can charge into the eastern infantry if you want. Not a problem for me. Come up here. We've got a bit of space behind us, and we've also got the high ground, which is always excellent, especially for archers.
Where did these guys go? Okay, they're fleeing. Should be firing all the way down the hill. I'm absolutely shredding these guys. We've got a bit of experience in this army now as well. I say a bit, not much, just bronze, but it's it's still worth a little bit. You know, it's still okay. Um, let's go kill those bowmen. Shouldn't have a problem with that, should we? Right, I'm hoping we'll be able to fire down just because we're on the high ground here. Is this the general? Why are you here? Uh, right, uh, we don't want to get trapped. We will take one more step back and then we're going to go around. They will be retreating out this way, most likely. So, actually, let's let's start moving around now, because it's quite important. Especially seen as the Bedouins are the slugs over there. They do have bowmen here. Two units of bowmen, actually. Not that I really want to fire on those guys. They only have 30% of their troops left. It's not a huge amount. But those chariots can still be dangerous. And go fight those Nile Spearmen. Doesn't matter, it just keeps them occupied really. Running out of ammunition. They don't have many big units left though. Like most of their units are pretty heavily damaged apart from this one that's got 67. Two with 67, actually. 64. How many are left firing? Right, let's go mass charge while they're exposed. I don't care if we take a couple of damage damages, but they, they're chariots. They're not, they don't really know how to move. Yep, we've broken them. Good, good, good. They're not going to come back, though. That's the one thing. Get out of there. Still got a couple with ammunition, so we might as well use it. While we have it. Don't want to be charging up a hill. So we'll probably just lure them this way a little bit. Uh, get out. Don't want you in there. Okay. Route then. Fine. Okay, chariots are back, they're, but they're nearly all destroyed. Good for us. Right. You guys come over here. You guys. We want to start taking out individual units. That's the issue here. They're all clumped together. So if you guys can get out behind and take out the bowmen, that would be good for us. While the chariots are exposed, let's go. Uh, let's go fight them. They're all exhausted or tired. Yep, exhausted. That's not good. You, apart from the general. Oh, get away, get away. Well, yes, there is a point. There we are, fantastic. Now we should be able to sort these guys out. Get into them while they're, while they're not in phalanx. Get into them also while they're not in phalanx. Or they might put a phalanx down in time. I feel like they will break first though. Steady. Yeah, there we are. Break them. Uh, you, you're going to have to get rid of that one at some point. How many is left? They only have 16% left. Get into the bowmen. Yep, let's go. I think if we kill the, the rest of these units, we will have enough to have wiped out this army. Both armies, maybe. Which would be excellent. 
get into there. Get into there. You guys stay away. Get away, yep. Right, get out, get out, get out, get out. I I faded too too long on that. Waited too long. Come back in. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, looks like we're breaking actually here. Why are they eager still? They're surrounded. Idiots. Absolute idiots. Right. Okay, we've still got a lot of troops left. You. Yeah, you need to be taking out these guys. Getting these Nubians. Okay, three of you over here. And this side, over this way. There's two units that are actually reasonably sized, that's the problem. Right, get in there. They should break straight away, surely. I was going to say. No, 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 no. Oh well, as long as we, uh, as long as we don't route, right, we need one unit to just stay away and not route. <laughs> um, yeah, that one, that one up there, that 34 unit, that'll be fine. Oh, well, that's going, uh, at least we've got another couple of generals this, 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 uh, turn. Yep, cool. At least we did get another couple of generals this turn. Surely they, they're going to break. They're shaken. Yep, broken. So are our guys. Oh no. They're steady. There we are. Perfect. Get rid of them. How many have they got? Okay. Yeah, they, we should have destroyed both of those armies. 41, 22... Look at these horse archers, 141, 125, 127, wow. Mostly Peltas, 100, uh, no, Bedouin archers, 166. God, I never knew camels were so good, even though they're, they're horrendously bad. <laughs> camels are terrible. Camels are the worst. Literally the worst. Right, we need you to get in there um don't care about the hillman oh wait no actually oh look at all this lovely experience and none of them were lost okay i don't care about the mercenaries can't even retrain them i don't think can you retrain mercenaries now in this i don't know oh wait we do have a 52 can we give that to the four and see what happens uh, that's not ideal, is it? Now we've just lost all experience. Oh dear. There we are. Better. Let's come back. Uh, but yeah. Okay, we don't have any money to be retraining. Hmm. Oh well. I can't forget about these guys up here. Oh. I'm gonna fight the Scythians. Sarosh of Cyrinx, yep, yeah, he died. So, looking at the generals we've got around this area, we do have Thuxra. He's 16, and he needs to be uh, a guy anyway. Now, this one we have arses. <laughs> he 
who's leading up there. That's fine. Yep, cool, we're moving all these guys. Right, cool, that's all right. Now we've we've destroyed all three of those huge uh, Egyptian armies. So let's, uh, before we end the episode, let's just have a look at the old statistics. Um, faction rankings, let's have a look. Egypt's, Egypt's still higher than us on ranking. But we have just taken them out. Like, that. we're about turn 24. And, yep. Yeah, We've absolutely destroyed them the last couple of uh, turns there with their military. Let's have a look at the Brutii. Brutii are coming up. They're the next people going to fight. So the Julii and the Scipii. They're all about equal now. Production. Mine's gone right down. I'm guessing that's because I haven't been recruiting as much the last couple of turns. Territorial just steadily up for us. They've also gone up. Obviously, we've only been fighting, really. We haven't taken much land off them. Uh, finance, financial, about the same. Uh, population, about the same. So, they're evenly matched right now. Even though we've just taken out those three huge armies. So, I'm guessing they do have some large armies still about and in the mix. Um, bring the spy back down here so we can see Sidon. Sidon really has nothing. So I'm guessing they might have an army around there somewhere. But I think that should be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And I should hopefully see you again on the next episode.